House on Pleasant Street, uh, part five, vaulting my ceiling. Uh, still in the sunroom here. Uh, last time we checked in, I had the ceiling all done. So the next thing I'm going to move on to now is the drywall or sheetrock. Uh, got a couple pieces hung. I put a piece up here. I've got a little piece put up here. It's going pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm going to call this one part five. Still got to sheetrock this. And also up here. Of course, I do have to pull, again, I do have to pull some of these boards down to uh, check on the insulation. That's where I'm at. Drywalling should go very, fairly quick, fairly simple job. Not a very nice day out. A good day to work inside. Okay. Continuing with my uh, drywall install. I've got most of the drywall installed here. Got all this sidewall filled in. This side is done. I got the bottom all done. I cheaped out a little bit at this point. I used some, some scraps instead of going to the store to buy another full sheet. Oh well, a little bit more mudding, that's all. Now I'm up on this wall here. And, uh, I pulled down one board. And I can see that there's some lack of insulation here. So I don't know if the camera can capture this. It's hard to film sometimes. So obviously some cavities were filled. Some were not. Some were filled. So in this cavity, looks like it goes way up. Can't even see what I'm... I'm going to stick the uh, camera up here. Not even sure what I'm going to see. Okay, nothing at all. But it looks like a big hollow cavity that goes up forever. Uh, I'll have to get the flashlight to double check on that. So basically, I mean, I can't, you know, I can put insulation right here. And I'm going to do that. This is obviously, this is the rim joist. Uh, I just don't understand how some rim joist, I guess this is called balloon framing maybe. Uh where that vertical member doesn't even come down all the way to this, to my downstairs ceiling. But anyway, this would be the upstairs floor. This is my daughter's bedroom. So there's obviously some cavities that were missed when we had the blown in done. I'm gonna fill in the bottom here because I can access this. Obviously this one has been filled and this looks older. So I, I don't know, like I really don't know because there was zero insulation in this house when we bought it. But this, and we did have the front of the house. This is the front wall of the house. We did have the insulation blown in. So maybe that's what this is. Maybe they got some, but not all. Anyway, they missed some. So I'm going to call them back. Because, I mean, I can't, like I said, I can do this area, but I can't do up there. There's no way. I mean, this, you can only stuff stuff so far up there. And they did say that if I found anything down the road, um, because they gave me a discount from the original quote because they, they said that the front, they couldn't get all the front and this and that. So anyway, they missed a couple of cavities. At the time of the, uh, cellulose injection, I got them to do it from the outside because I didn't want the plaster disturbed. So what they do is they, they pull the siding, they pull the vinyl siding off. They pull the vinyl siding off, they drill holes, and then they inject. So this wall here, I witnessed this wall. This this was all done. But anyway, I'm going to get them to come back. And I'm going to get them to come from the inside. So be it. We'll have to repaint my daughter's room. But that'll be for future. Uh, I'm going to fill this in. I'm going to close this up. Maybe have a look behind here. Because that's part of the ribbon joist also. And I'm going to put the board back up. Call this done. Put my drywall up. And... Um, I'm going to have those guys come back. I'll have to pay, but that's okay. When you uh, put insulation in your walls, you pay money, obviously, but you will get that back in uh, in the savings in your heating bills. So she claimed her, uh, her front wall was a little bit cool. And that's probably why they missed a couple cavities. I will get them to come back, and we'll just do it from the inside. 
For now, this is the vaulting of my ceiling in my sun porch. I think we're on part five. Uh, it's going, it's going well. Unfortunately, I had to run into this. I did buy a light fixture for this yesterday. That should look okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to deal with this, close this up, throw this last sheet up and finish this and then we'll be ready for some, uh, mudding and taping. Uh, over here, I did have a little bit of rot. <clears throat> I found a little bit of rot right here. So what I did was, uh, I'm not going too crazy on here. I do not want to pull the windows out. So what I did is I grabbed my oscillating tool right here. That's my oscillating tool. Same one I used in my previous video when I worked on the floor. And I just went here and I just cut out. I got some brand new blades on here. Works quite well. I just cut out all the rotten stuff. I just went like this. And I'm going to shop vac all the... Uh, the stuff that was soft, I've cut back to hard wood. The sill, sill is good. So I think I've cut out all the bad. Uh, some people would say that this is not really proper. But I've cut out the bad stuff. I'm going to refill. I think I'm just going to refill with expandable foam. Uh, and then just maybe fill that in. Or I'll probably come back with some more trim. I'm not sure how I'm going to trim out the windows yet, but I'm going to. Um... This is my progress so far. Pretty happy. Okay. Insulation, insulation. Nothing, nothing under the window. Insulation, nothing and nothing. Going all the way up. Okay, I got this, I uh, got these two cavities insulated anyway. I was able to reach up and push uh, the fiberglass bats. <clears throat> they went up about three feet. Uh, that's to the upstairs window. <clears throat> so I did have a few bats left over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fiberglass. Uh, I was able to tuck a few bats in there. So that'll take care of this. There are still some open cavities here. Uh, I will call uh, maritime insulators. They'll come back and uh, fix up what they missed. Uh, in the meantime, this was accessible, so I got this done. I got the board back up. Uh, there's a little, little piece that splintered off. Uh, that's okay. I'm going to screw that little piece back on. Also, this is all packed in pretty tight. Uh, and I'm going to throw up the last of the drywall. And uh, I'll be ready for mudding and taping. Room is taking shape. Okay, well, this took no time at all. I said I got that one last sheet I got yesterday. That sheet is up. Uh, I just had to slice a few inches off the bottom of a full sheet. And it turns out that the piece I, sli I sliced off was just the right width to tuck up there. So this is fully drywalled. Uh, looking good. Looking more spacious certainly than uh, when the ceiling was at seven feet. That's for sure. Did not like the seven foot ceiling, but I've mentioned that lots of times. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do now is uh, I've already called uh, my friend that supplied the uh, styrofoam and they're okay for me to return these four sheets. So, uh, you know, you're looking at about $130 that I'll put back in my account. Uh, so I'm going to return those maybe later today. And uh, I'm going to clean up this mess. I'm going to gather up the rest of this old uh, laminate wide plank flooring. I don't like it, but it's... Pretty decent. I'm going to stack it up, probably take it over to uh, Habitat for Humanity, and uh, I'm going to throw a coat of mud on here. So back to the old mudding and sanding and BS, but it has to be done. And this way here, there's actually not that many joints. And as you can see, not that many screws. Yeah, uh, they're not every six inches. I will throw a few more screws in. That's just uh, there's basically about eight screws holding that old sheet there, which is not enough. I will throw in a few more, but I'm not going to go crazy. The less screw holes you have, the less mudding. I've already got a few seams here because of uh, I decided to use my scraps instead of one big piece. But that's okay. That's okay. This is good. And I kept, uh, I removed all the trim that was here before. I kept that, so I will attempt to reuse this trim once I'm done. 
And uh, this is it. Now the other thing I gotta do also is mount my pancake box uh, for my receptacle for my new light fixture. So that's the drywall done. Uh, it's coming along nice. Okay, continuation of part five. Uh, got one coat of mud everywhere. One light coat, got all the seams covered up. Uh, I just filled the crack first. I'm going to come back with some tape. Got the corners taped. That went pretty good. It's just a small room, nothing to it. Corners, corners. Yeah. Okay. One coat of mud. Going to walk away. Let this cure up. Come back tomorrow, do a second one. Two coats of mud, sanded, not perfect, but good enough for now. Two coats of mud, sanded, ready for primer and paint. Okay, I got the room uh, primed and painted. So I got two coats of the pale yellow. Might be a little bit hard to see because of the sun, but uh, my ceiling is all done. Stand back here a little bit. And there is my drywall sanded, smooth, primed, painted with two coats of uh, top coat. So all that's left to do now is trim this room out. So I'm going to end this one here. House on Pleasant Street channel on YouTube. Uh, this is the end of part five of vaulting the ceiling in my sunroom. Of course, the ceiling used to be across here, seven foot, very low, very dingy. Got it all raised up, Got the rafters insulated, and I use this uh, beadboard treatment. Okay.